Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Seasucker Monkey Bars roof rack system and how it fits on a 2022 Ford Edge. So with our Edge here, we do have a naked roof, which means we don't have any raised or flush rails already installed on the vehicle. So if you want to get a roof rack up on here to carry some larger accessories, your options are either something like this with the vacuum cups or to get a fit kit and mount your roof rack that way. Using that way can be a little bit more complicated and a little bit more involved. So if you aren't using your roof rack that often, you want a solution that you can just pop up on here, break down easily and store when you're not using it. This is gonna be a really great option, so let's check it out. When you first get the system set up, when you're installing it, it's gonna come with these plastic covers on each of the vacuum cups. Make sure you take these off, but store them somewhere because you will need to put them on when the rack is not in use. Also, we make sure to clean the top of the roof beforehand just to make sure the cups get a nice solid grip on here. Taking a closer look at the vacuum cups and how they'll work when you install them. So I'll just release the suction on this one. You'll see that orange indicator pop out. All of the cups will have that orange indicator out when you're installing them. What you're gonna to need to do is apply a little bit of downward pressure on the cup and just press that button until that orange indicator disappears. So once it does, that's how you know it has the proper suction. You wanna make sure you do that for all of the cups. Something else that's important to consider when you're installing the crossbars is that crossbar spread. So if you have a tape measure, now would be a good time before you get everything all suctioned down to measure from one crossbar in the middle to the other or front to front, back to back, however you want to do it. We found that 28 inches is a pretty universally good number for most rooftop accessories. So we shot for 28. Just set them up on here loosely without suctioning the cups down measure the crossbar spread on either side, match that up, then tighten everything down, then you should be good to go. Our crossbars that we're using are 48 inches long, so you can see the width on the top of the roof. It's not a super long overhang, and honestly, I wouldn't hate just a little bit further, but at the same time, it doesn't go too far off to the point where you're gonna be hitting your head when you're getting in and out, and you still should have room for one to two accessories on here, again, depending on how large they are and how heavy they are, because we do have that weight capacity built in, and 48 inches is going to be your maximum distance as far as the accessories you can get on here. The crossbars are also round, so most of your accessories should work fine with round crossbars, especially clamp on. Obviously, they don't have a top channel for your T-Track accessories. The only issue that we run into with round crossbars routinely is something like a kayak carrier. They just tend to rotate a little bit more than a lot of other accessories, but if you're getting like a ski and snowboard carrier on here or a roof box or basket, round crossbar should work fine. The bars are also made of aluminum, so they're really lightweight, easy to work with, with a nice black powder coat finish, so they should hold up well to the elements, which is what you're gonna be using them in primarily. Also, they do offer a cable, window, and trunk anchor lock system. It's not my favorite thing to work with, so honestly, if I was using these, I'd probably just break them down and store them in my car when I'm not using them but I could see it working for either way for different people with different interests. But again, if you are just sort of traveling, using these as a get to where you need to go situation, I personally, like I said, would just break them down, store them in my car, lock them up that way. So the Sea Sucker Monkey Bar system is gonna be a good way for you to get some larger items up on your roof without the struggle of installing a fixed roof rack system. But there are some pros and some cons. The pros obviously being the fact that it's not super invasive, you can just break them down, store them in your car, put them up there, suction the cups down, and then you're ready to go. The con of that being that they're not meant for permanent use, so you can't just put them up there and leave them there without checking up on them every once in a while, especially after a long time. The suction in those cups will definitely lessen and you're gonna lose a lot of that grip. So if you do use these, definitely keep double checking that. And if you need something for more permanent use, definitely check out some of the fixed mounting systems that we have here at eTrailer. But overall, again, if you are just looking for a quick way to get a little bit more storage on top of your roof without installing a permanent system, the Sea Soccer Monkey Bars are a great option for you. This again was just a look at the 48 inch long crossbar Sea Soccer Monkey Bar roof rack system on our 2022 Ford Edge.